Hello everybody, this is Louisa with Ellie Paper Studio and today I have um, two cards with, to share with you and I've separated the videos into two parts to make them a little bit um, faster videos and in case you don't want to see the other card or what have you. Um, so the first card, both cards are Christmas cards and I'm pressed for time for um, to send the very last few of my Christmas cards. This ones are very special to me because they're going to my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law and they, uh, my sister-in-law has a boxer. His name is Nico. So I went ahead and I cut um, this boxer from the Cricut Pet Shop um, Sorry about that. Um, so I went ahead and cut this um, from the Cricut, Cricut Pet Shop cart, Cricut cartridge, and I cut him at roughly about two, a little bit over two and a half. And then I cut this little um, Santa hat from a free file I got online, and I want to say that I got this Santa hat um, from um, Birds Cards by Bird. And I'll put the link on my blog where you can get this SVG cut, and I use my Cameo for that. And then I'm using this really cool paper. is um, It's kind of fabric-y paper, and to be honest, I don't know where it's from. It's from my stash. Um, it's just velvety, and it has these swirls. Very Christmassy. And I put it on some cardstock. Now, the piece of cardstock is three and a half by four and three quarters, and this piece in uh, the internal piece, the fabric piece, is three inches by four and a quarter. So I took it an entire half an inch in. And then I'm going to use this ribbon, and this ribbon is from uh, Celebrate It, which is the Michaels brand. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to place it about two-thirds of the way down. And this has already some sticky that I've put on it. And I embossed this um, card, this, yes, I embossed the base using Cuddlebug's um, This Cuddlebug embossing folder, which again, I don't seem to know the name, but I will leave it on, I'll put it on my blog. And it'll probably be somewhere around the this video also. And I love this because it's very versatile and it's also 5 by 7 so it fits larger images or larger cards. So I'm just going to place this down. And then I've popped this uh, boxer up in some using some pop dots. And these are a little bit larger than your traditional or thicker. So if you're using foam tape, you would probably want to use double, you would want to double it up to create this kind of dimension. Next, I'm going to use this stamp set. This is from This is from Close to My Heart and this is just for the holidays. And I think I'm going to be using the um, Joy to the World, although I do like a few of the other ones. I just like the, the detail of the Joy to the World. And then for my mother-in-law's, which her card is going to be very similar also, I'm going to be using Peace on Earth. So I'm going to go ahead and um, emboss these two on some for this particular one I'm going to use some green cardstock and some gold embossing powder. Okay so I've gone ahead and embossed um, my sentiment and I did like I said for her for my sister-in-law I did joy and around it says joy to the world and I use my Spellbinder dies. I actually use the, the smallest one. And this is from the Spellbinders Classic Scallop Circle Small. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop this up in one thickness of foam tape just so that it's a little bit, not quite as high as um, the puppy. 
And after second thought, because the cards are so similar, I'm not going to go ahead and split them into a different video. I'm just going to go ahead and put my mother-in-law's card together here on, um, on the same video. And for this particular card, I'm actually... Yes, this would be the right way. For this particular card, I use also this. Uh, this is not actually fabric. I want to say this is... Um, I can let you know what type of paper it is exactly. I do know that it's SEI's, um, and I got this from CraftJunction.com. And this ivory card, this is just ivory card stock that I went ahead and inked around, just like I inked this mat. And the mats are actually exactly the same size. So this is a three and a half by four and three quarters, and this is a three inch by four and a quarter. So I just took it down an entire inch. And because it's a little bit see-through over the ivory, it has a really cute effect. And for hers, like I said, I would be, I will be using her little, her German Shepherd, which I probably could have made uh, larger. And I will be also using the same ribbon for it, um, for this card. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting everything together. So here are both finished cards. Because this cardstock here is not, it's a um, solid core die core cardstock, meaning when you emboss it or try to distress it, it will not, the, the base of the card is the same color, so it will not distress like this one. I went ahead and used some um, rubber stampede pigment gold ink and smeared it a little bit. And the reason I use this particular ink is because I um, I happen to have it on my stash, and it's I never really use it for anything else. So it's a good it's it's a good use of your pigment ink. However, if you do have something that is not pigment and it's gold, you I would probably recommend it just a little bit more because this will take a little bit more to dry and it will smear a little bit just because it's pigment pigment ink. Now, as far as the two little metals here, I decided to leave them, not layer them anymore just because I do like how they turn out with the gold and it does look um, pretty, it has a pretty neat effect as a metal here, kind of. Um, now, as far as for the inside of the card, both cards, I'm just going to do, um, we write a lot for, we typically try to, you know, write a, a cute little message, or not a lot, but just a cute little message. So I'll probably just do some ivory cardstock for the inside and just a simple Christmas message. Um, so both cards have a little bit of a fabric element. Both are exactly the same dimensions and same theme. Um, it's featuring their puppies with the Christmas hat. So I hope you enjoyed these um, two cards. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out my blog, lapaperstudio.blogspot.com if you want more specific details on measurements or anything else. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll catch you guys later.